the question I get asked a lot, as if I could have the answer and have a crystal ball, is how much lower could this go? So I'll ask you, the expert, from a strategy standpoint, how much lower could this go? Hi, Dom. Look, it's a really tough um, question to answer. What we do can, what we can say is that we think that there will be further declines from here. We're not going to stop at the 22% mark. Um, remember, a lot of these declines have taken place without actually seeing any drop in the earnings growth numbers. So this is almost your first leg so far. And then as we start to see the economic data, the earnings growth data start to turn, that's when you get into your second leg of equity market declines. And I wouldn't say that, you know, 30% drop from, from, from the peak um, is impossible. So the 30% we've already gotten in certain parts of the market, right, the NASDAQ specifically, down more than 30% at this point from, from its record highs. If you talk about the broader S&P 500, you're still mentioning the same mega cap names, but it's a broader based measure. How much of this loss, hypothetically, if it can go to 30%, hypothetically, will be driven by that mega cap tech trade, which has already been destroyed, but now comes down to some of the more value oriented sectors that have been leading the way, so to speak, I think of oil and gas in particular. Yeah, it's a great question. So what we have seen, as you said, the Nasdaq um, really comprised of those really uh, mega cap names has dropped very, very significantly. But remember, coming into this year, they were also the most overvalued. So the most expensive stocks will inevitably fall the furthest when you have this kind of macro environment. Now, the question of whether or not the, these companies have um, are almost cheap enough to be attractive. Well, look, there are some names certainly within there which would be attractive. Um, this is the time when already stock pickers start to perform well. Uh, but the overall sentiment of rising interest rates, um, a difficult recovery where demand is falling, especially given that large cap stocks have significant revenue exposure outside of the US. And actually, as weak as the US economy is likely to be, it's other parts of the world, such as Europe emerging markets, which are likely to have an even tougher time. So from that perspective, the large cap stocks are probably still quite challenged, um, even as the year progresses. Now, on the value side, as you said, energy has been the key upward driver for a lot of those markets. Um, and we don't see any of that changing anytime soon. There will certainly be challenges as maybe regulations, tax holidays, um, as you've been discussing, start to come in. But overall, the energy market and commodities are probably on an upward push because of structural um, shortages within that industry.